Hi, I'm Irini from The Upcoming. How are you? I'm good. I'm very good. How about you? Very good. Thank you. So for our audience, if you can tell us what your part is. Yeah, so um, I play Mowgli and he is this kid who's really been dealt a bad hand in life. He's been thrust into a very bad situation. So it, his parents were killed in the jungle by Shere Khan when he was just a, a, a little baby. And um, he's grown up with this wolf pack without human interaction or anything. And um, yeah, I think that's what's really great about his character actually is that he perseveres through every obstacle that he has. Why do you do this film? What, what made you say, oh yes, I definitely want to do it? Well, I mean, obviously the uh, uh, the chance to work with Andy, just any chance to work with Andy, I'd do it right away. But because I mean, he is the king of performance capture, and he's just such an amazing actor. Um, but I think that's I think that's what was you know really it drew me to the character. But also, I grew up reading Ritter Kipling short stories, and I'm, and getting a chance to almost play my hero, who whom I really admired, I think it's just really amazing. How did you get the part? What was the application process like? Yeah, so Andy actually um, had seen my previous work in Lone Survivor, and uh, he wanted to call me through Skype. So he sent over some sides and everything, and I performed them actually for him, in front of him. So uh, actually, no, he was in England, and I was in New York. So my mom tilted down the camera so that Andy could direct me through Skype, and I was on the ground calling or crawling around, and I was acting it out with my dad, actually, so that Andy could get a chance to direct me. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, so you're New York-based? I am New York-based. Me too! <laughs> Oh, well, that's awesome, yeah. I mean, I've, I've flown all around the world so far, but it's, it's really great. So. so last question, what's next for you? Um, we haven't announced anything yet. I, I really, I'd love to talk about it later, but I don't have any chance to. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Right, so um, obviously this book was written in the, in the 19th century, and it's a long time ago. But um, I think it, it, it really is able to kind of apply to today's culture, especially for kids of, oh, sorry, especially for kids of my age, because... Um, I mean, obviously, kids of my age, you know, teenagers, with social media and everything, we are going through a lot. We're being, you know, people are being judged because they look a certain way or whatever, and they're being forced to be a different person. They're not. They're being forced to not be true to themselves. And I think Mowgli, obviously, it's on a much bigger scale, but he's fighting between these two worlds: the world of animals and the world of humans. And I think that really shows uh, uh, kids of my age, and frankly, everyone, that they that they can be true to themselves and they can pick their own unique path. Yeah, so Andy, I mean, he was really the king of motion cap, of performance capture, and it's just, it really is amazing to just see see him in action, just even without the makeup or the, uh, the, the uh, just without anything, it's just amazing to see him with, just drop into the character and really just bring the character to life, and as far as working with him from, like, the actor and director's point of view, um, I mean, he is really just an actor's director, he knows what it's like to be in front of the camera. And it, 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 he also knows, like, obviously, you know, this is a complex character and everything, so he's there to guide me and to, to kind of push me through the role and get me into the mind of Mowgli while being able to give me that freedom that an actor really needs and able to explore, uh, to be able to explore and, uh, and really discover their character. Yeah, so actually, um, I, I did get to physically work with them, which was, you know, fantastic because it, it was really just amazing to, uh, to work across from these guys, like Christian Bale, Kate Blanchett, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Andy Serkis. Obviously, they are the best at what they do. They are the best in the business. And it was really amazing to be able to get that, that physical kind of uh, interaction with them and that, that, uh, that feedback that you don't get with, um, with like, a, a ping pong ball or a, or a tennis ball or something. So, yeah. yeah, I really think that, is, that it is their uh, probably commitment to the role and the way they just really embody the character and they step into the shoes of the character and get into the head of the character and really bring that character to life. Um, yeah, I think that's that's probably what makes them the most successful. I mean, obviously it is really great to work with them and to try to incorporate that into my own acting. Role, so.